Hi there, Sam Sorbo here for the Accidental Homeschooler. So we were talking yesterday about organization and Lisa Cummins actually wrote me and asked me about preparing for homeschooling in the fall. Now I know a lot of parents out there right now are seriously considering home educating in the fall, which is wonderful. Um, so how do you prepare for that? Well, you need to do some research. So I would say, first of all, go back and look at some of my other videos about uh, how to prepare. Um, and I talked yesterday about if you're, if you're getting sort of more, um, if you're trying to get organized, how to organize for, you can get organized for the entire school year. I never did that. I feel like there's a way to map out your year where it makes you less flexible. And I didn't want to lose the flexibility. So, um, but I did, but for instance, I did Shirley Grammer. And Shirley Grammer, the whole curriculum is week to week to week to week. So you just do the week, 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 one week after the other. And if you have to take a week off because you go on vacation or because there's an illness or whatever, then you take the week off. When I first start, so here's what I want to say to new homeschoolers. When I first started, I dotted every I, I crossed every T, I did every exercise. I, I mean, my poor boy was like, in a sense, run ragged. Now, it wasn't that bad because home education doesn't take all day. It just doesn't. But, I mean, I really ran him roughshod, like, because I wanted to make sure that we got everything done because I felt so inadequate. And so, <clears throat> If there was one gift that I could give new homeschooling parents, it would be this sort of <clears throat> experiential understanding. And it only comes with experience, so I don't think that I can really impart it. But it's this understanding that it's not that crucial. Now, when I went to school, I had to make straight A's. Like, I was like, oh, I gotta, I gotta get an A, I gotta get... Um, and if you're, if you're somebody who is sort of beholden to the education system and you probably feel that way also, you're like, oh, I have to, I have to do everything according to the book. But even in the schools, they don't do the whole book. In lots of schools, they only do like 12 chapters of a 52 chapter book or 20 chapters of a 52 chapter book. And you're going, but, but there are 52 chapters. And the teacher's going, yeah, there's no way we can get through all of that not going to happen. So they pick and choose. So my point is, I would like to, you know what, maybe I should do this. I would like to offer a license to choose, a license to be lenient, a leniency license. Like, it's up to you. And so preparing for school in the fall, yeah, great. Make plans, absolutely. But also understand Plans can change, and it's not the end of the world. Um, I'll tell you this. I know of, uh, uh, I knew a family who their daughter was really struggling in middle school, um, and they, they didn't know how to help her. Uh, there was a bullying problem. It was, it was getting bad, and they finally said, you know, we just have to pull her out of school. And um, there was a lot of sort of, animosity there was a there was a, a lot of uh, sort of a struggle between the girl and the parents um, pro probably partially because they they'd sort of forced her into that horrible situation for so long that when they finally kind of said okay we got to do something and they pulled her out of school then it there was um, an aggravation between her and her parents and they honestly, they were like at their wits end. They didn't know what to do because they wanted her to continue with her studies and make sure that she got everything and the math and the reading and the science. And I remember hearing a homeschool expert advise the parents, um, in this case, I think it was just the mom who was asking, but she said, look, can you just leave her alone for a little bit? Can you just say, here's some classic books. I'd like you to read one a week. That's it. Just do some reading, one a week. And then the other stuff we'll get to later. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Because if your kids are older, 
and you're just bringing them home now because you finally saw the light and you're finally like, wow, this COVID thing and what they sent home while well, well, we had to homeschool and what they're gonna do in the fall and all of that. And I just don't think that that's the way for our family. Like, I just think that that's a, but if your child's older, they've already been taught that your authority doesn't matter. They've been taught some things about you that you might not like. And there's, there's, a, there's a need maybe for you to recapture or reimagine uh, your relationship with your child. And I would say that that comes before curriculum. And so maybe take a few minutes and take a few minutes, take a few several weeks and work through, and if you have older children, if your children are near teens or, or teenagers, you know, involve them in a conversation. That's what I would do. So, um, yeah, homeschooling in the fall, it can look a lot of different ways. It can look like a lot of different things. Always check with your state. There are legal requirements, yes. But ultimately, if you're going to home educate your child, then you are the teacher. And so what you say goes. And you know that, you know, sometimes your kid would come home from school and, uh, and you'd be like, well, what did you do today? And they'd be like, well, the teacher put on a movie, so we watched a movie. Teacher's choice. So if you're going to homeschool this fall, teacher's choice. All right. Thanks so much for listening. I'm Sam Sorbo, the Accidental Homeschooler. Please subscribe and also uh, go to my website if you want my books. They're your kids or Teach From Love. Um, Teach From Love is for all, really all ages and it's a lot of fun. Uh, it's a lot of fun to do with your kids, you know, some really interesting and deep discussions. And I, I've gotten such great comments on that book, such great feedback. It's just been phenomenal. So uh, so I can recommend it even though, yeah, okay, self-serving, but, but do because it's not really self-serving. It's there to help you and your family uh, form stronger bonds and uh, more long-lasting relationships. Thanks for listening. See you next time.